G'day, it's Rob here again. Um, in this video, I'm going to uh, try a little experiment that I've had in the back of my mind for quite a while. Um, you know from watching my videos on making gear blanks that I always pour the molten aluminium into a tin can and uh, strip away the tin can and you finish up with a, a lump of a slug of alloy and from that your machine, your, uh, your blank out works fine. I mean, the last one I did was absolutely magnificent, you know, best I've ever done, but, you know, and doing it this way, you can save a, a bucket load of money because, you know, if you hadn't bought that, it wouldn't be cheap. So, uh, it's all free. And I thought, well, you know, you can go further with this rather than just do, say, gear blanks. Why not cast a length of round, solid stock just for general purpose machining? You know, you might want to machine up a handle for your lathe or something, so I'm going to give it a crack. And rather than stuff around with the green sand and all that other baloney, I'm just going to uh, try casting into a length of uniform steel tube. In this case it's an uh, old vacuum cleaner tube. So I'm going to cut off a length of vacuum cleaner tube. And the plan is I'll stick it in a, in a bucket with a bit of sand in the bottom. Then I'll pour sand all around the outside to keep it in the vertical position. And then I'll cast the aluminium and I'll pour it into the tube, let it uh, cool down and it should contract and just come out as a, as a, uh, a slug, a nice long tube, a uh, nice long slug of um, cast aluminium, round stock. Will it work? <laughs> well, I guess gonna have to find out. So, see how we go, stay tuned. Right, well, here's my bit of tube cut off, jammed in some um, builder sand with a bit of automatic transmission fluid mixed in, just bind it, and uh, that's what we're going to pour the aluminium into. And here's my crucible, which is a piece of heavy gauge water pipe machine down with an old uh, water pump and impeller welded into the end. <coughs> just to make a bucket out of it. So we're, we're all set to uh, do a bit of melting. Some more scrap alloy here. So I'll melt all this down and we'll, uh, we'll do a pour and we'll see how it goes.
Right, well, we've poured the, uh, the cylinder of uh, the pipe full of aluminium and I've poured the leftovers uh, in a tin so we can melt it down for next time. Now it's just a matter of let it all cool down and uh, see how it turns out. Hopefully we'll get a nice cylinder of uh, aluminium out of it to prove the concept works. So, see what happens. Right, so what did we get? Well, here's the tube. Now, will it come out? Ha! Huh, will it come out? No problem. So what do we got? You can see where it went down onto the sand on the bottom end. And that's the topping where I poured it in. Don't look too bad. We'll see how it machines up. Putting it 460 RPM. Still got hydrogen pinholes in it. I used a baking soda, so it looks like that's as good a result I'm going to get with that particular aluminium concoction. Fair to middling. Well, what did we learn today from this little experiment? We learnt that, yes, you can easily cast round solid aluminium stock out of a piece of 
steel tube, it will separate. When the aluminium contracts, it will separate and come out, no problem. So we've got a nice, reasonably uniform hunk of uh, aluminium round stock from our vacuum cleaner tube. We learnt that. But we also learnt two other things I think are more important, and that is that the quality of the aluminium that you start with um, determines the quality of the aluminium you're going to finish up with. OK, you can, you can have gassing issues, hydrogenation, but, I mean, in this case, this is good, obviously, better quality aluminium than the aluminium I use for, for these two, because this is old treadmill motor aluminium, or motor mount aluminium, and you can see that that is virtually machine grade, I would call that machine grade aluminium. There's no hydrogenation in that whatsoever. This is uh, aluminium from a end castings on an old AC motor I had, and I mean, okay, these two are the same sort of aluminium. You look at them, you can see that the one with the uh, washing soda has got more hydrogenation than the one with the baking soda. But I only used half as much in that one as I did in, in this pour. So, you know, at the end of the day, there may not be a lot of difference between the two of them. You're just going to have to experiment and find out for yourself. But uh, certainly the grade of the aluminium, uh, I think, had a big effect upon... Um, hydrogenation and machinability of it and I mean you can see that this has got this has got a much better luster than that um, no hydrogenation whatsoever so it looks like get some good aluminium to begin with if you're going to uh, if you know what it is good good quality aluminium use that for um, good quality jobs and if you only want aluminium for uh, just casting up you know mounts and uh, bodies for things, well, yeah, basic old anything would do to, by the look of it. There's obviously a lot of difference between the types of aluminiums that they use. There's probably hundreds of grades, but uh, you can only find out through trial and error what you've got and how good it's going to be, I suppose. But it's all a learning curve, and that's what makes it interesting. It's good to learn, and uh, at the end of the day, you can only get better at it. I mean, that's great. I'm as happy as Larry about that one. That's beautiful. And I'm not upset about that either because in the, at the end of the day, um, you know, you can't expect uh, miracles from um, what is probably a substandard piece of aluminium to begin with. So there you go. It's quite simple to do. Um, yeah, a very interesting um, thing to play around with. Just be safe, be careful. And yeah, backyard casting has obviously got a lot going for it. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.